This is my friend Calvin. He recently moved to an apartment and he reached out to me because he wanted help setting up his space. And my response was, of course, I love designing for other people. And you guys told me you wanted to see a video like that for me anyway. But what I'm most excited about is that he finally decided to start his YouTube channel. So please check it out in the description below. Calvin had a pretty simple program. The room will be used as his bedroom, his filming area, and his work area. And also he likes more of the white and light wood aesthetic while still having a moody and cozy feel. The room he has is 15 foot two by 11 foot 10, which is a really good size room. We prioritized locating the bed first. After setting that up, it was pretty obvious to us that this will be his work zone. Aside from helping Calvin arrange his space, I also tried to reach out to brands that I've been so fortunate enough to work with in the past to see if we can bless him with some gear. The desk we got was from Ergon Office. We chose a 30 by 60 shift desk in ice white. I find this to be the perfect size for a desk. Not too small, not too big. Also, the shift desk has this really nice texture. It feels so nice to touch and it's pretty durable. It's actually scratch resistant. You can have up to four presets, which is nice, especially if you're sharing your desk with someone else. We opted for grommets on both sides of the table for easy cable management. Speaking of cable management, my favorite part of an Ergon Office desk is the included cable net that makes it super easy to manage your cables. I like to use twist or zip ties to bundle up the unwanted cables and then I just shove everything in the net and you're good to go. They make it so easy. This desk looks so nice and refreshing, you have to see it in person. We position the center of the desk to be aligned with the existing sconce. When I'm designing a space, I like to make sure that I'm respecting the built environment. So if there's something that makes sense to align to, I try my best to do that. On top of the desk is the desk shelf from Ergon Office. It comes in the same finish as a desk, which is really nice. I just like the simplicity of this desk shelf. Clean lines, very minimal, no gimmicks. For his monitor, we chose the LG 5K 2K. I reviewed this monitor recently, which you can watch right here. It's a 40 inch ultra wide monitor that's great for productivity, photo and video editing, and I absolutely loved using it for architecture. I thought this was perfect for his needs and it's great that he's able to achieve a one wire setup with his MacBook Pro. Speaking of that, he's using a 2020 16 inch MacBook Pro that has an i9 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and the 5500M four gigabyte video card. The MacBook Pro is sitting on a Grove made laptop stand in Maple. This is my favorite stand because the wood helps bring some warmth to a tech filled setup. To add visual organization to his setup, we chose the light gray wool desk pad from Grove Made. This is the medium plus size which is perfect. You get enough protection without covering too much of your desk space. This Logitech G715 wireless mechanical gaming keyboard was purely Calvin's decision. It's a TKL keyboard layout that has 25 hour battery life, media controls, and it's compatible for both Windows and Mac. In the brief time I used it, it was nice and responsive and that cloud wrist rest was pretty comfortable. It kind of added to the ethereal vibe of the setup. For his mouse, the MX Master 3 was the perfect choice. It has customizable buttons, a thumb scroll, ergonomic design, and on top of that, the new quiet clicks is a really nice addition. I've been using an MX mouse for years and I really like it. In order to be able to plug things easily, we got this power strip sitting on top of the desk that we routed using the grommets. One of my favorite desk accessory is the MagSafe stand from Grove Made and I really wanted him to have it. This one has the maple finish and in my opinion, it's just a really beautiful looking accessory that is also functional. Calvin recently bought the Sony XM5s, which he really loves, so we just needed a stand so it's easy Easily accessible. We decided to go with Grove Mates headphone stand to again add more texture and contrast to the setup. Calvin also already had the analog by Ugmonk and it's a nice tool to help you stay on top of your to-do list. If you want to learn more about how I use it, go ahead and watch this video right here. We then added other accessories that he uses often and some personal stuff. This white mesh and leather chair is from Best Buy. I think it's pretty good looking but I can't speak to the comfortability of it so I asked Calvin and his words were, it's breathable comfortable and for the price it's worth it. I sat on it maybe a total of 15 to 20 minutes while filming and I thought it was good. If you're looking for a budget chair go ahead and check this out but I do want to say that the chair is pretty limited in terms of adjustments. At this point the setup was already looking good but we didn't stop there of course. I do want to take a brief moment to say thank you to Ergon Office and Grove Made for helping me with this project. Also if you're enjoying the video so far go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I got hired to design someone's office and I know you wouldn't want to miss it. It. I'll be sharing it here relatively soon so go ahead and hit that subscribe button.
We placed the Philips Hue Go behind the monitor to add some accent lighting. Then we added this faux plant to introduce some greenery and life, which I guess is kind of ironic. We wanted to add some storage in this corner and this cube shelf was the perfect size. We got it from Target. It's where he stores his favorite books, favorite shoe of the month, and some lenses and a GoPro. The plant he has was a bit too short without a proper stand, so we decided to put it on top of this shelf for now. I'll let Calvin deal with it in his future upgrades. On the left side of the desk, we had this Lira lamp, which I absolutely love. I have the same one right here, as you can see, and it's popular for a very good reason. It's a great way to add character and accent lighting to a space. You can adjust the brightness, set the color temperature, change the colors, and this helped create a moody and cozy vibe. Lastly, we got this pegboard from Target. It's a much affordable option than the IKEA ones, although it's made out of plastic. It comes with a clip, hook, storage cups, which is really nice. I'm pretty happy with how the space turned out, but most importantly, Calvin says he loves his space. He now has a space to work, film, and sleep in. Like I said earlier in the video, Calvin is starting his YouTube channel, and it would mean a lot to me, and I'm sure to him, if you subscribe and support his channel. What do you guys think of this setup? I haven't done a white light setup before, so this was an extra exciting project for me. And the fact that I'm doing it for a friend means even more. If you made it this far into the video, please let me know by typing ethereal in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have another video just like this one coming up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.